So let's talk about the next phase, which is mm -hmm. how do you stay motivated? Because if mm -hmm. there's a big enough why, you can at least get started. Mm -hmm. Sticking is the next big thing. Mm -hmm. So what are your recommendations on? Mm -hmm. Very simple. So the way you stay motivated, I don't think people need more motivation. I think they need more feedback and accountability. That's it. Uh, I don't think I have a tremendous amount of willpower in particular, but I do have very good tracking, which means that could just mean I use, let's say, a withing scale. So with things, W-I-T-H-I-N-G-S, it's a Wi-Fi scale that will automatically put my weight into a computer and show me a graph. Nice. So I could simply use that awareness mm -hmm. to and track. what do you use for digital stuff when you're mm -hmm. uh, tracking your own? St I mean, you've gone to digital now. Do you use yeah. like an I your iPhone? Do you have an app or um, uh, how are you daily, storing your data? Yeah, Daily Burn is a, is a very good tool. You could use Daily Burn. You could also use Bodyspace.com, which is run by Bodybuilding.com, mm -hmm. which is a humongous company. People don't realize I me. Mean, it's 100 million plus in revenue a year. Pretty good and very very refined communities for tracking that data. Uh, I also use paper. I still use paper. So it doesn't have to be high tech. Mm -hmm. I still use paper a lot. What you do need, though, is very accurate feedback. And I encourage people to always have one appearance goal. But one of the reasons people fail is they don't have a second goal. They need a performance goal. Okay. Whether that's, Give me an example. And a, and a performance goal might be improving their one mile run time or running a mile okay. Which for means... the first time since high school. It could be lifting more weight. It could be getting certified for, for kettlebell instruction, any number of things, but something that is that provides you with usually a, a distance or a time or a weight, not just your appearance. Because when people have performance goals, oh, I'm sorry, appearance goals alone, they fail quite a lot because that takes out a certain level of competition and a certain level of accountability. So I always encourage people to have two. The other reason you want to have two is to div diversify your identity. What I mean by this is, let's say for whatever reason, uh, for women, it's very frequently menstruation, so they start retaining more weight, and they go on the scale, they go, oh my God, I'm five pounds heavier than I was last week, even though it's completely water. This is particularly true in the 10 days prior to menstruation. And if they have a performance goal, and they're still making progress, let's say adding weight and getting stronger, they realize they can realize that they're making progress even if one of the numbers is misleading. That's another reason why you want to track two numbers. Okay, so ultimately it starts with, first of all, you have to measure and track. That's one of the first things you talk about in the book mm -hmm. is you've got to you know, measure your fat, measure your weight, yeah. and measure some performance, and then come up with those goals. Yeah, you need your GPS points. Okay. You need your right. starting point, and you need your end point.